At the break of dawn, the journey of a single grain of sugar begins deep in the fields, where teams of skilled harvesters cut towering stalks of cane with precision, bundling them neatly for the long industrial transformation ahead. Once cut, the cane is gathered by powerful mechanical loaders, each swing timed with the next as heavy-duty trucks wait in perfect formation, ready to begin their race against time. To preserve its sweetness, the cane must reach the mill within hours. And so, a convoy of heavily loaded trucks rolls out, carrying mountains of raw sugar energy toward the factory. As the convoy arrives, each truck passes through a rigorous receiving system, measured, logged, and prepared for the controlled chaos of high-speed processing. Here, every kilogram counts. A high-precision weighbridge logs the incoming load, ensuring the factory maintains exact control over millions of tons of cane. The cane is tipped onto powerful conveyors, where synchronized mechanical arms arrange the long stalks for a smooth entry into the heart of the process. Before anything else, the cane is washed clean, stripped of soil and debris by high-pressure jets to protect the machines that will tear through it next. Inside the first mechanical gauntlet, massive shredders tear the cane apart, breaking it down so every drop of juice can be squeezed from its fibers. The shredded cane enters the milling train, where colossal rollers crush it mercilessly releasing the first streams of raw cane juice. Stage after stage, the rollers apply deeper pressure pushing extraction efficiency above 95%, leaving behind a dry, fibrous residue known as bagasse. The leftover bagasse doesn't go to waste. It becomes fuel, powering the same factory that created it. The raw juice is pumped into filtration tanks, where sand, fibers, and impurities are removed, preparing it for the chemistry of refinement. By adding controlled amounts of lime and heat, impurities rise and settle, leaving behind a cleaner, glowing golden liquid. The clarified juice enters giant evaporators, where water is removed in stages, transforming it into a thick, sweet syrup. To prepare for crystallization, the syrup is whitened through a careful sulfitation process, bringing it closer to the pure sugar we know. In vacuum pans, the thick syrup boils at low pressure, allowing sugar crystals to form slowly and perfectly inside the bubbling mixture. Every batch is monitored by specialists who ensure crystal size and purity match the exact standards required for white sugar. The crystal-rich mixture, now called massicuit, 
is sent to powerful centrifuges that will spin out the remaining serum. As the centrifuge whirls, the crystals brighten, shedding their final layers of molasses. And there it is, the first glimpse of pure white sugar, clean, bright, and ready for drying. The fresh crystals enter a fluidized dryer where warm air removes remaining moisture before the sugar cools into its perfect granular form. Here, the sugar is graded, fine, medium, and coarse, ensuring every grain meets strict consumer specifications. Once graded, the sugar rests in massive silos, each capable of holding hundreds of tons, waiting for final packaging. For industrial buyers, the sugar is packed into durable 50 kilogram sacks, sealed, labeled, and stacked with mechanical precision. Meanwhile, a separate line creates the familiar one kilogram and two kilogram packs seen in supermarkets, each measured, sealed, and printed at incredible speed. Every package is scanned and verified. Any misprint or faulty seal is instantly removed from the line. The finished packs are boxed and secured, forming stable, transport-ready units. In the warehouse, both retail packs and industrial sacks are stacked with exact precision, ready to supply markets across the world. From here, trucks carry the finished product outward, toward shops, bakeries, and homes everywhere. And finally, the journey ends where most of us see it first, on a supermarket shelf, waiting to sweeten someone's day. From sunlit fields to your kitchen table, the story of sugar is a triumph of precision, engineering, and human effort. <laughs>